Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AEC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is why you need a condensate trap on an air conditioning system. So whether it's a trap like that or a trap like this, what it's doing is it's holding the water weight in the inside of here, and it's allowing any condensate that builds in this pan right here to flow out of the system while it's running. If you don't have a condensate trap like this, this pan in here is going to overflow. So I'm going to take you up for an up-close image of the inside of this tube, and you're going to see the water level actually rising right up inside this tube and even higher than this hole right here. So that's because this air is getting sucked in through this pipe right here if the trap is dry or if you don't have a condensate trap. How the system works during air conditioning mode is you have a low temperature evaporator coil, and that's because of the refrigerant traveling through the tubing. Then you have your hot humid air crossing the coil fins and the humidity gets attracted to the low temperature coil. It condenses and then trickles down into this pan right here. And it's real crucial for that water to be able to exit the system while it runs before the water just overflows. And this is especially in the case of say a three ton, a four ton, a five ton system where you're taking a lot more humidity out of the building and you have a higher airflow velocity. A higher airflow velocity is gonna mean you're gonna be sucking more air through this tubing, and it's really not gonna allow any water to travel through here unless that system was off. So whether you have a air handler like this where it's gonna be sucking the air through the tubing or a package unit where it's gonna be sucking the air, it's very, very crucial to have a condensate trap. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take you in for an up-close image of this so you can see the water while the system runs. I hope you can see this. We have our water height rated about here. And there's nothing flowing out of this pan right now. So we just have air getting sucked right in through this hole. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shut this system off and then all the water is going to drain out. After that, I'm going to turn the system back on. We're going to get the water height to about that height again. And we're going to add a, a PVC trap that's full of water. And you're going to see what happens then. Now the system's off, so you have all of your water getting drained out. Our water height is now high again, and I'm going to add this trap, and this trap has water right in the bottom here. So we're going to go ahead and see what happens. So now it's allowing all the condensate in this pan to drain out properly. So that's how the condensate trap works. All of this water that's coming out of this is coming down into here. It's raising this height, and then it's just trickling out right here at the end. You want to make sure to have all of your piping and your trap and your fittings all primed and glued and dry in place before you go run in an air conditioning system. I just put this stuff together dry just to show you what happens when you have a water-filled trap. If you want to learn more about checking the refrigerant charge or working with refrigerants and preparing a system for refrigerant all the way through to troubleshooting, we have our book, The Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning, and this is available over at our website at acservicetech.com, and we have a full outline available there as well. We have our thousand question workbook and that comes with a an answer key so it's a self-study guide and we also have our quick reference cards as well so these are made out of polystyrene you can use these in the field for checking the charge and troubleshooting and refrigerant weights and things like that so we have these all available over at amazon.com and over at our website at acservicetech.com we also have our ebook available over at google play hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at ac service tech channel